little Westlake man stepped on a nail. It nearly cost him his leg. In tonight's health cast, KPLC's Brittany Glaser finds out what caused a life-threatening gangrene to form and how an aggressive wound healing therapy helped him avoid amputation. Now, just a warning that you might find some of the images graphic. I have wound care come out. It's been a long road to recovery for Charles Duff after stepping on a long nail in January. I stepped down and I felt the nail, went to reach for the tailgate and was too far away from the tailgate and I went down on a nail. The nail sliced through four layers of Duff's right foot. He had the nail removed at the emergency room and it was put on an antibiotic, but within a couple of days, he knew he was getting very sick. Monday, I called my son and said, if you don't get me in the hospital, I probably won't be alive Tuesday. Duff was rushed into surgery with a staph infection and a dangerous condition called gas gangrene. Foot doctor Caleb Pusho knew Duff's leg was at stake. Extremely life-threatening. Gas gangrene is considered an emergency. Needs immediate intervention. This is a picture of Duff's foot after being admitted into West Calcasieu Cameron Hospital's ER. Dr. Pusho had to devise a quick plan of action to save Duff's foot and leg. We had to open up the foot to let out all the toxin, let out all the bacteria, put them on a very strong antibiotics. Uh, and also we use the hyperbaric oxygen therapy to help treat that. Duff has spent several hours inside this hyperbaric chamber at the wound healing center where the oxygen infusion kills the bacteria and toxins causing the infection, helping to grow new tissue. I have a lot more feeling in my right foot since the, the grass. Now the Duff is in his final month of treatment as his wound continues to heal. And this Westlake volunteer firefighter knows he's got a lot to be thankful for. I wouldn't have a foot if it wasn't for these people. And I have another chance. At your service with HealthCast, Brittany Glazer, KPLC 7 News. Before hyperbaric oxygen therapy was introduced as a means of treatment, the typical approach for gas gangrene was amputation.